name is Peter Scheibler. I'm captain of flight uh, 462 today to uh, Yellowknife and uh, Norman Wells. Returning this afternoon back to Calgary it will be about uh, 10 hours for the round trip, uh, about 7 hours flying time total. Um, our first office today is uh, happened to be uh, our son Sandra Scheigler and uh, we have our flight attendants on board, Frank and Karen. Hope we're all going to have a good flight. It will be a beautiful day, blue sky as usual, as it is always in Calgary and in the north. here we're looking at the airplane and make sure the uh, elevators lined up how we have it centered in the airplane now we're just looking at the numbers on the tail there and uh, the stripe on the elevator Around, uh, built around the 1960s, it was a very high-tech airplane. This aircraft was the first um, model jet aircraft that Fokker designed. If you look at the overhead panel, it's very automated for its days. Everything up here is all of the systems. We've got the uh, electrical system. So we're going to be Empress 447 for uh, Edmonton when we check uh, company cross bleeding just ahead of us. We'll be starting in uh, just a few minutes. Empress 447, Roger. And just confirm runway 15. Uh, 15, thank you. Okay, and I'll see if I can get you uh, the 151 uh, Raider Vectors Avenue if I can. Okay, actually, we've got the deluxe model today, so we can take direct happening. Perfect. We're one away, so we'll roger that. Okay, when you're ready, uh, let's go to the line. Parker door and pallet. Flap 15. Landing checklist to the flaps. 28 EU is off. The passenger signs are on the bed three times to start some stair low addition. Three calls to check speed rate. Down three light. Landing gear. Down three three. We're holding on the flaps 15. Set for departure. Set for departure. Transponder radar is uh, set and standby. Redder nail around trim. Ah, uh, three and zero. Departure briefing. It's complete. Four star checklist is complete to the line. Good morning. My name is Steve Hanker. I'm flying uh, with Dave Graham today. 
we're going to Divik Mine Site, which is uh, approximately 160 miles north of Yellowknife. We'll be departing Edmonton, climbing to 32,000 feet, and planning an hour and 50 minutes uh, en route. Weather for arrival in Divik, uh, even though it's uh, late May here in, in uh, Alberta, uh, it is snowing in Divik, uh, and 7 miles visibility, temperature 0 degrees Celsius. Sit back, relax, enjoy the flight. We're level at 32,000 feet, uh, approximately 266 nautical miles from our destination of Divik Mine Site. And we're just transitioning in Canada into what we call northern domestic airspace. If you look at my map here, we're just going up this airway here, transitioning to northern domestic airspace. What that means to us as pilots is now our compass indications can be erratic. So we're about to swing our compasses into true and just leave them run in directional gyro mode. Uh, Divik Mine Site is a gravel strip and uh, it's a little over 5,000 feet long. So uh, when we go into the strip, the aircraft is specially equipped with a gravel kit. Um, when you see exterior pictures of the aircraft, the thing that makes it different from most 737s is there appears to be a very large ski on the nose gear and what that ski is is a gravel deflector it deflects the rocks away from the fuselage in the engine the other thing you'll notice um, quite readily is two uh, uh, one on either engine vortex dissipators that look like a long tube coming out of the front of the engine My name is David Graham. I'm a first officer on the 737 uh, for Canadian North. We've just landed in the Divik Diamond Mine doing a crew change. So I'm going to do a quick walk around and explain the things that I'm looking for when we come into a gravel strip. Uh, we do have a uh, video crew on board today up front. And uh, as we depart Divek, we'll be uh, leveling off just below the cloud, about 1,500 feet above the ground. And uh, just circling the camp. Uh, just once, and then as uh, soon as we get established uh, southbound after our first circle, we'll be climbing to uh, 33,000 feet. So don't be alarmed, and uh, sit back, relax, enjoy the flight. Officer Chris Campen. Uh, today we're going to do a flight uh, from Edmonton to Yellowknife up to Rankin Inlet and in, uh, in the uh, territories and then across to a Calvin on Baffin Island Mike, and Mike, down to Ottawa. And we'll be about nine and a half Mike, hours flying time today and uh, various altitudes up to 35,000 feet. Great. 